Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2018, slot 2 DILR, says that an agency interested to accredit colleges looks at four parameters, faculty quality, reputation, placement quality, and infrastructure denoted by F, R, P, and I respectively. The four parameters are used to arrive at an overall score, which the agency uses to give accreditation to the college. In each parameter, these are five possible grades given. A grade 50 points, B 40, C 30, D 20 and F 0 points. So you can see in the table, they have given the grades to these colleges. The overall score for a college is the weighted sum of the points scored in the four parameters. The weights of the parameters are 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 in some order, but the order is not disclosed. So it can be in any order which is not given to us. So based on the conditions, we will have to find that how much weight is given to each of the parameters. Accreditation is awarded based on the following scheme. So you will have to find the score of these colleges. And if the overall score is greater than or equal to 45, the accreditation is AAA, BAA, BBA, BBB and JUNK. Eight colleges apply for the accreditation and receive the following grades in the four parameters, FRPI. So we are given the four parameters and the grades that these colleges get. Now, based on this information, we are given three points. Based on it, we need to find the weight of each of these parameters. So the first information says that high Q is better than best ed. So high Q is better than best ed. Now, if you see in parameter P, they have received the same grade. So that is insignificant. But other parameters, they have received different grades. Okay. Let us look at the next piece of information. It says best ed is better than cosmopolitan. So let us compare best ed and cosmopolitan. Okay. This is a, a careful observation and that makes us determine which uh, parameter has what weight. Now, best ed and cosmopolitan, this value is same this value is same. So whatever is the weight of B and D, it is not going to impact, right? So we will not consider these. Now logically, logically, like if best ed is better, that means it will have high weight because best ed is getting overall score better and at a, uh, so it has to have a higher grade in which it gets a better score. So if you are unable to figure it out, let us take an example. Suppose, uh, like weight given to it is 4 and 3, okay? Just an example, it is not that it is going to be 4 and 3, right? So these are different weights. So let's say these are 4 and 3. So C and D and it receives D and C. So 4 means or here in case 0.4 and 0.3. So 0.4 and 0.3. C is 30 points and this is 20 and 20 and 30. So if it is receiving 0.4, this will be 12 and this will be, so this is 0.4 for uh, this parameter and 0.3 for the second parameter. So 12 plus 6, that is 18 and this uh, will have 8 plus 9, that is 17. So we see that best ed is greater than cosmopolitan. Suppose we say that no, this is less, this is high. So logically, if one is sound enough, would be would not be making the calculations, but yes, let us make the calculation just to show that if you take the reverse, what happens? So if we have instead 0 0.3 and 0 0.4, let us say we take the weights as 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. In that case, so first college will have 9 plus 8, that is 17. And second college will have 6 plus 12, that is 18. Now, in this case, this college becomes better, cosmopolitan becomes better. So, logically, the weight of uh, the better grade should be high. Like in this case, it has C grade is better than D grade. So, it should have high weight, then only the college can have a higher rating. So, using this logic, we will find the gates. Okay. So, we have determined that the weight of uh, C is better than that of uh, like weight weight of r is greater than i so we have got r is greater than i okay so we have used this best ed is better 
नेक्स्ट कंडीशन इज एजुकेशन एड इज बेटर देन ए वन सो एजुकेशन एड एंड ए वन इफ वी सी दीज आर ए ग्रेड दीज आर ए ग्रेड नाउ दे आर बी एंड दिस इज ए बी सो ऑब्वियसली ए शुड बी बेटर ओके दैट शुड हैव हाई वेट सो आई शुड बी बेटर देन पी सो आई हैज हायर वेट देन पी यूजिंग द सेम लॉजिक दैट वी लर्न इन द प्रीवियस केस सो दिस इज ऑल्सो डन Now we will see high Q better than best Z. Now high Q and best Z, if we compare. Now in P both have got the same grade, so it will not impact the scores. Now high Q has got better grade only in B. If you see only in B, it has got a better grade, and in others A is winning. Right, best Z also A. Uh, sorry. uh in f also best ed is better okay and uh, in r also best ed is better so that means b should have a very high weight like uh, this category i should have a very high weight now we know that i is less than r right based on the previous conditions so i can get a maximum weight of 0.3 so now we will make two cases and figure out which will work so we are saying that r i p and the fourth one is f right so we can have 0.4 0.3 0.2 and 0.1 or another category could be 0.4 and 0.3 this is 0.1 and 0.2 so we will make two cases and compare and then figure out what is the weight of each of these okay so first category if we say let's write the numbers here first b is B is thirty, B is forty, C is thirty. This is twenty and twenty. Okay, and here we have C D that is thirty and twenty, D and B. So these are the weights. Now, if we give R I F P, now we need to write in this order. F is point one, R is point four, P is point two, and point. so one case we will calculate using this so what do we get 4 plus 12 plus 4 plus 6 so that is uh, this is 12 16 plus 10 26 okay and we get point 1 is 3 plus 8 then plus 4 plus 12 so we get 27 Okay, so high Q is coming better, so it satisfies. But let us check the other case also, whether we get two possibilities or not. So second case, in this scenario, we will take the weight of uh, R and I will be point four and point three only. Okay, in this we will swap these codes point two and point one. So let us calculate the weights here. Fourteen to point two is eight. We need to multiply this by this weight. So thirty into point four twelve two. This into this is two, and this is six. So we get a total of twenty eight. Now this uh, institute will get six. This is eight. This is two, and the last one is going to be twelve. so we see that 14 plus 14 that is 28 now in the second scenario we are getting both as equal both categories get both these institutes get equal rating so that is not possible so this case is not possible and hence this is the one the first can case that we considered is the one so r has a rating of 0.4 uh, then we have i.3 P point two and point one per faculty. So one four two three is the order in which we get the rating points. That is the weightage of each of these categories. Now using this information, we can answer the rest of the questions. Okay, so let's see this. The first question is, what is the weight of the faculty quality parameter? So that is point one. Okay. Now next question says, how many colleges received accreditation of triple A plus? Triple okay. A plus means that you need to get a total of forty five, right? Total of forty five means see, uh, this is weighted average of these numbers, 
right aggregation the total score is weighted average now if you see uh, the weights are different but common sense says that the weights like score should be good right like for example best ed cannot get a total of 45 because it does not have 40 plus in any of the criteria similarly cosmopolitan cannot get 45 dominance cannot get 45 this could possibly get 45 plus this could possibly get 45 plus similarly this could get 45 plus possible right because there are two parameters and it has 50 also okay global and high q cannot get 45 plus now let us calculate the scores for these three institutes okay see high q and uh, uh, best ed we had already calculated 27 and 26 so you can write those no need to calculate for others but in some questions maybe it will be handy because in one of the questions highest overall is asked and overall between 31 and 40 so we will uh, calculate accordingly so this is 5 20 okay and this is 10 and 12 so we have 35 plus 12 47 okay so this has one of these colleges has a triple a rating then this college has 5, 20, 0. 0.2 means 8 and this is 15. So we have 20, 20, 40 plus 8, 40, 8. And the last one is 5, this is 20, this is 8 and this is 12. So 20 and 25, it is 45. Let us look at the table. It says greater than equal to 45. So at equal also it is considered. So, we will have three colleges that received AAA rating. Next question, what is the highest overall score? Highest is 48. So, if you solved these que first question, you would have solved this one as well. Last one, it says, how many colleges have overall scores between 31 and 40, both inclusive? Okay. So, easy to figure out, uh, like not to calculate all values. These two are not in the 40, 31 to 40 range. Okay. These two are also eliminated from 31 to 40 range. We are left with three colleges. Okay. Now, if you see their net average, like calculate their actual average. What is the average you get? We get 60 and uh, 60 plus 50, 110. 110 by 4 is 27.5. See, net average is not equal to weighted average, but close to it. Like suppose in A1, if you calculated the average, so this is 190, 150 plus 40, 190, 190 by 4 is 47.5. In this also, this is 100, 190, that is 47.5. This was 45. Okay, so we see that the net average score is very close, right? It won't vary by much, like it would be within one or two, it will not vary much. Similarly, if you see this 30, 20, 20, 40, this is 50, 50 plus 60, 110, that is 27.5, right? So we are getting 27. And you can check for this also 70 plus 40, that is 27.5. So it will not vary much, okay? It will depend on the weight. So if you see this dominance, this is uh, 60, 80, 30, that is 110, that gives an average of 27.5. So these two have 27.5. This definitely is very less. This is 70, which is 17.5. So weighted average, like this is the average. The weighted average would be somewhere in this range. It will not reach 30. It is not possible to reach between 31 and 40. It can vary by one or two. If you see all other examples, right, I mean, you can calculate that, not needed, but understand this concept that will enable us to solve it fast, that the weighted average would be in similar range, like the average is 47.5, weighted average 47, right? Here also, if we see all others, the weighted average is within one or two values, like here the deviation is 1.5 because uh, F has a higher rating in this case. So, if the average is 27.5, it is very difficult to reach 31. It will be somewhat in that range, 27.5, 29, max, maybe uh, not even 30. And similarly, in the bottom line also, it will be somewhere around 26. It will be in this range, 26 to 29. So, if you understand these things logically, the concept of weighted average, one could have solved it faster. Like as we saw that in this scenario also, we calculated without calculating 
Okay, I showed you the example through calculations, but if you know the concept of weighted average, you could have easily figured out this. And even this need, did not need calculation. How? See this thing. B has high weight. Okay, and uh, uh, then D. So uh, we figured out that these are 0.4 and 0.3. Now, if you see uh, the parameter P is irrelevant. Okay, it is about F. Now, if you give more points to F. Right. If you try to give more points to F, uh, that means uh, this person will gain. Right. Bested will gain because if you are giving more points to F than compared to P. So try to give the least points to F here. You would have got the answer. Now, if you develop that level of thinking of uh, weighted average, you could have solved this set easily. For that person, I would rate that the mod uh, the set is moderate. But for a normal aspirant, this is definitely a difficult set to attempt in the examination. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.